Hello everybody, Wild here. I see this question everywhere. In my emails, in the phase of Discord, private messages, you name it. Hey, I'm starting this game and I don't know if I should use Phaser 2 or 3. Or, hey, I have this game that I worked on for a while and I want to know if it's worth moving to Phaser 3. And I'm here to answer those questions once and for all. Yes. No, well, it depends. You see, Phaser 3 is not even out yet. Yeah, sure, there are beta builds and stuff you can play with, and yeah, you can build some cool stuff with it already. But in my personal opinion, it's not ready yet. The thing that most people don't realize is that Phaser 3 is very different from B2. You can't just replace the Phaser file and expect it to work. The major difference between 2 and 3 is that Phaser 2 is built on top of Pixie, whereas 3 uses a custom renderer. So what does that mean for us? Well, apart from a big performance boost, it also means that we have full control over it. The Phaser renderer is being built for specifically how Phaser handles things and how games actually work. And that's a huge problem that we've had over the years. Phaser 3 also brings some cool new features like more camera stuff and states. Wait, they're not called states anymore. Another thing that had my eyes glued onto V3 was the fact that it's modular. You can take things out and nothing is really connected to one another and that's really cool. But yeah, that's the basic comparison of version 2 and 3. But should we make games in V3 yet? Well, Phaser 3 is planned to release next week from what I've heard, so I guess we could start making games using it. But the main point of the release would be to find as many bugs and get them fixed. So yeah, I guess you should start making games in V3. We need people to find those bugs and help V3 evolve. If you're an experienced V2 user, then you'll have to spend a few weeks learning how V3 works. You can't really just jump into it and expect your knowledge to translate over. However, Rich has been making sure that the transition will be as smooth as possible, so that's great. If you already have a game that you're thinking of porting over to V3, you will have access to those really cool features and new stuff, but you are risking for a bug crusade. So is it worth it? Again, it depends. You can't really just expect Phaser 3 to work perfectly and be stable. Just remember how Phaser 2 was in its early stages, and how that period of time was for everyone. You also can't ignore the amount of work that will be to port over to V3. It won't be a few lines of change, but you'll have to take everything into consideration. So based on that, you should try and make your decision, as it differs from project to project. There is no real answer for everyone. I personally am waiting for more documentation, examples, forum posts, and tutorials come out before I take the step of using Phaser 3 instead of 2 in my projects. However, you should try out V3 and get familiar with it. We cannot deny that Phaser 3 is the future and that we'll all have to learn it at some point if we want to keep up with current and future standards. This is going to be a very interesting year. We'll see how Phaser 3 does and how it evolves and whatever cool stuff will be made with it. Rich and the team have been working so hard on V3 and it's really starting to show. So the future is looking very bright and I'm really excited to see what the community brings. Please let me know what you think in the comments. This was just my ideas and opinions that I have. And uh, yeah, until next time, goodbye.